On October 31st, a Halloween event was celebrated in East Harlem at Jefferson Center through a collaboration between Save East Harlem Union Settlement and big names like Goldman Sachs. The event was a costume party targeted for kids ages 15 and under and included fun activities like face painting, pumpkin decorating, a haunted house, and much more. Kids from all around the community dressed up as their favorite TV show and movie characters, including Spider-Man, Superman, Mario, and plenty more. This was the first ever Halloween event that has been held here and we got to interview some of the people who made this event come to life. Good evening, everyone. My name is Janice Bain, and I am the Regional Director for the East Harlem Youth Opportunity Hub Program. Michael Parker, I'm the Regional Director of the Youth Opportunity Hub at Union Settlement. Uh, my name is Brandon Walters. I'm the uh, Activities Coordinator at uh, GOSO, Getting Out and Staying Out. So the East Harlem Safe Halloween event was col a collaboration between Save East Harlem, Union Settlement, um, some of our sponsors, Goldman Sachs, the NYPD, and what we wanted to do was create, activate the spaces in our NYCHA developments to kind of show our community that not only the young people can have a great place to have fun and enjoy themselves, but community-based organizations can work together to kind of show that East Harlem is a place where young people can not only enjoy themselves and have fun, but also be in a safe environment where we can kind of celebrate not only each other, but some of the great work that we're doing in the community. The Hub has come together with GOSO and a few of our community partners to bring, you know, um, the community, the Jefferson community together, their families and the youth, sponsored by GOSO Save, and we are here today just to bring you know, um, the community together. I mean, what brings it together the most is that we're showing the ability that collectively that we can all do things together. And that, you know, our young people, a lot of times Halloween or the holiday used to always have been things that they would say like gang initiations or violence. And a lot of times I remember when I was young, my mom used to not let me come outside during the holidays out of fear. So what we wanted to do was create a safe environment where you see kids doing pumpkin making, arts and crafts, a haunted house, and really pull together everybody from the community so young people can say, yeah, we had a good time in East Harlem, in the NYCHA development, and it was fun. I found out about the event from SAVE. SAVE was running the event and needed some help with it. And we figured, you know, just help out. Uh, do whatever we can to make sure it ran smoothly. Also getting help with, from uh, Union Settlement as well as uh, various other uh, nonprofits. I think they're important for the community. The events are important uh, for the community because it bridges communication as well as helping one another towards progression as well as supporting children throughout their dreams. So anytime you go do an event like this and it brings together the community for the goodness of the children, then it brings positivity. Um, community events like this are so important so that the community knows that there's organizations out there that will be able to help them, provide them with the needs that they are looking for within their community, um, as well as bringing the people together, understand that there's so many positive things going on in the community, and that we are here as the East Harlem Youth Opportunity Hub program to bring those resources here to the community. You're going to see an awesome haunted house that is like some of the creepiest things that you're going to see. You're going to see young people doing some beautiful arts and crafts with some pumpkins that we got from East Harlem Farm, a East Harlem based farm business. You're going to see young people eating pizza, eating chicken, we got face painting, we got cotton candy. I mean, when you walk through these doors, of course it's Halloween, so you're going to be amazed, you know. Um, you might be a little frightened, but of course the children will be amazed and happy. Of course there's plenty of sweets and popcorn and food and stuff going around. So they're just going to be like looking all over the place of trying to figure out like what's going on and being part of the event. Would I be a part of another event? Of course I would. This is great. The outcome is, is phenomenal. There was a lot of support from, you know, various organizations for the community, for Jefferson a Senior Center. So, yeah, I would. I mean, my plan for the, my, you know, it's not just an I thing, it's a we thing, it's a team and as a community with different organizations. Um, I feel like moving forward, um, this is going to bring, you know, a different sense of environment and positive reinforcement to the community. And then I think moving forward, we're going to bring more events. This is um, what we consider um, with my partner, Michael Parker, who has partnered with us, who, um, you know, he's bringing different activities and events to the upper region and in the lower region in which I am the director for and we'll be able to go throughout East Harlem and be able to bring different activities. Shout out to David Nocente, shout out to the NYPD neighborhood community officers, shout out to MNN, Boys Club, um, shout out to Fidelis, shout out to Save East Harlem, shout out to these young people, they are excellent today, they're well behaved, they're enjoying themselves and it's just a great sight to see parents and young people just having a great day in East Harlem.
I just want to say thank you to the Hub team. You guys have been amazing um, as your director. You know, I feel like y'all went all out. Also to my partner, Michael Parker, who put this together, who have worked closely with a lot of the organizations who have done here. And I just want to say go team, go East Harlem Youth Opportunity Hub um, for us being able to work together with Go So Save in order to bring this event together. Overall, everyone had a fun time and enjoyed themselves. The kids loved the scary haunted house and the face painting and the adults and others from around the community loved the food, music, great atmosphere. There was a bit of everything for everyone to enjoy.